Hello beautiful, this is Shannon Thompson, professional makeup artist, coming to you on my professional series. And today I'm talking about prepping for a film, but specifically shopping during the prep period. You've gotten hired for a print film, you're now the department head, and they've given you all this money. And this money is not for you to go wild and be able to go in the streets and buy whatever you want. The money is specifically to buy makeup supplies that's for that film or that television show, all right? So, let's say that they give you $5,000 for the particular film. They don't always give you $5,000, so don't get, accept, don't get excited about it. Sometimes they give you $500. That money is to last you for the entire run of the film. If it's a TV show, they give you a specific, uh, significant more money, and you would break it down to each individual episode. You will have a certain amount of money you need to use for each individual episode. But let's talk about film. You do the same thing, but we're gonna talk about film. So the first thing that you're gonna buy are disposable things, all right? Your tissues, your sponges, your alcohol, your brush cleaner, those things you're gonna have to buy on a regular basis, so you wanna get them out of the way and you wanna buy them, all right? Now, you're not buying just enough for you, you wanna buy enough for your key makeup artists and any additional makeup artists that you have. That doesn't mean spend all of your money on tissues and sponges and so forth and so on, but you need to put a lot of money for that, a lot of money aside for that. Then you're gonna buy specific makeup that's for that particular film that makes sense. So if there's a specific special effects makeup that you need to buy, you need to buy that. Specific blood, you need to buy that. Even beauty makeup. Let's say that the film is like Sex in the City. All right, well, so Sex in the City type of film, everybody was beautiful and amazing, so you will buy beautiful ma beauty makeup for that. No specific special effects makeup for it. All right, so you want to make sure that you buy things that you need to add to your kit that will work for the film because you're still working out of your kit. Your makeup artist, your key makeup artist is still using their kit. Your additional makeup artists are bringing their kit as well. These are things that you need specifically for this film or for this show that you don't have or that you need extras of because there are multiple people that are in this film. You also want to shop at places that you're not really going to think about on a regular basis if you're not in this industry. You want to go to places like Nigel's and Namie's and Alcone. Um, and those are places that, one, if you're in Los Angeles and you're in New York, you can walk in and get, if not, you're gonna order stuff online or you're gonna call on the phone. You can create an account with them and then they will have stuff on a regular basis that you can just call up and they can replenish it for you and send it to you either on set to the production or to your home, depending on where you're at in your prep schedule and what you're doing, all right? Then you wanna talk to your specific actors. You're number one to five on that call sheet. Why are you talking to them? Because you, they may use something that you don't have in your kit that you need to buy specifically. They may be allergic to something. They may be, have a preference over one particular makeup line compared to another makeup line that you just don't have. That doesn't mean buy everything, that means buy what you think is important for that particular actor, male or female. Also, skincare stuff. You want to buy specific skincare stuff that's in general and skincare stuff that is for that particular actress or actor because they may use something that you don't use. You want to make sure that their skin stays good. Again, you're working on set for 12 to 15 hours some days. They're in makeup for five to six days depending on the days and you're retouching up. So you make sure that you have good skincare stuff underneath their skin and stuff to take off their makeup so that they can prep that skin because great skin is going to create great makeup which is going to create great on camera which is what they want. It's great on camera. All right. Now, you don't want to use the entire budget all the way up because that budget has to last you the entire film. So you've used $3,000 of the budget, all right? You want to keep that other $2,000. That does not mean pocket the money. What that means is keep that money because other things may come up. You may have to buy more disposables, more tissues, more sponges. You may have to buy something that's specific for the actor. Uh, another actor that's coming in, something may come up and you need to buy something. So you want to have a little bit of money left over so that you can have that. You want to turn in your budget of your shopping stuff that you bought throughout the film uh, about two days before you're about to wrap up. So keep that money up until then. If you have money left over, production will love you, all right? They will love you, love you, love you. Even if it's $50, they will love you. Because again, it is not your personal money. It's money that is for the production and for the film. I hope that you in shopping have fun and that you learned something about prepping and shopping for your project.